Hello my dears and welcome back to my channel. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Pamela and I put out beauty related videos when I can. Happy New Year everyone. I cannot believe it's 2022. Um, <laughs> still feels like it's 2020 to me. I don't know if you feel the same, but I definitely still feel like we're stuck in January 1st, 2020 in my opinion. Nothing much in our world has changed around here you know, significantly, and I feel like we're taking a taking a small step back as far as like the world's concerns, but you already know that because you're living in this world. So I'm sorry I haven't put out very much content. I've been busy. Um, I've also been kind of sick. I have a sinus infection. It's been two weeks and I'm still kind of trotting along with it. Cecilia came home right before her Christmas break. She got really, really sick, poor thing. And we ended up having to go to the um, doctor. She was tested three times for COVID and she was negative all three times. She's also fully vaccinated. So, you know, I took precautions with my kids. I'm not gonna play around with that kind of stuff. And sadly, she's still sort of dealing with it as well. Like we're both been, it's been a very slow recovery process. And I feel like it's because our immune system wasn't strong enough. I don't know about you, but I didn't get sick at all in 2020 or very much in 2021 up until the end of the year that's when it hit us <laughs> and I was like dang man our immune systems were like solid for so long because we were social distancing and you know sheltering in place and then we step out into the world and then here we are sick anyway you didn't click on this video for that you clicked on this video because this is my new very basic like everyday makeup routine. I've incorporated this um, on days where I thought I was feeling way better but then I would go to sleep and wake up feeling way worse and I really like this makeup routine. I like the simplicity. I like the products that I'm using. I am going to be featuring a few new products that have just um, launched in like the last month or month and a half um, that I'm really really excited to talk about so I'll probably squeeze in a little mini reviews here in there but it's definitely going to be a very chill laid-back video and I honestly just want to put on some makeup and feel really good so that is the basis of this video so I'm gonna quit babbling and let's just get right into it yes so I've zoomed you all the way in also don't mind my hair I'm actually going to grow it out this time I was very content with my buzz cut for a long time but now that more hair salons and barber shops are opened I am kind of ready to experiment a little bit more with like a different haircut and um, yeah I just know that I need to grow this out just a little bit in order to walk in and say you know let's do something fun with my hair so don't mind that so like I mentioned, I've got a few new products that I want to show you guys that I'm really, really excited about. So this is everything that I'm going to be using today, including my makeup brushes. You can take a little glimpse at that. I've got a mix of high-end and affordable in here. I've been definitely kind of intertwining the high-end and the drugstore makeup because I love both equally. I have more recently in the last year been dabbling into high-end makeup and it's been really really nice like I'm not gonna lie there is a reason why high-end makeup is expensive and why a lot of people rave about it and why so many love it so I'm excited to show these products and as always let's start with my brows I almost always start with my brows on camera but you know what I feel like I can show you what I've been doing with my brows so I always use the e.l.f. Um, Ultra Precise Brow Pencil. This is just a very easy go-to product that I know will give me the results I like. And um, it's only $5, so gotta love that. I'm just gonna spoolie through my brows, make sure all the hairs are nice and combed upward. And then I'm kind of just, um, uh, making little hair like strokes in an upward motion. I kind of prefer this method more nowadays than like sort of just outlining and filling them in. They look a little bit more natural this way in my opinion and overall I love the finished like full brow look. <clears throat> For primer I'm going to be using two. I recently picked up the Rare Beauty Always an Optimist 4-in-1 Mist. Um, I've put a small dent in this already and I really like this. I like this before makeup and I like this after makeup. So I'm just going to give this a quick little shake and then I'm going to go ahead and 
close my mouth while I spray it. Let that kind of sink into the skin for like a minute. And then I'm also going to be using the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer. I love this stuff. There really isn't anything like this in my opinion. It gets the job done and it is probably the most affordable uh, version of this product because I know that there are plenty of products like this on the market. And I just continue to go back to this one for lots and lots of obvious reasons. If you know, you know. For foundation today, I'm not going to use a foundation. I'm just going to use a concealer. And when I do this, when I only use a concealer, I do prefer to use a full coverage, like hydrating concealer. I really, really like the Anastasia Beverly Hills Magic Touch Concealer. I also really like the e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealer. Those are two beautiful options that have a very similar finish, um, but are totally different price points. One is a little bit more on the high end and the other one is definitely affordable. Either one, I highly recommend and you will get that beautiful, beautiful look on the skin. So I'm just going to take my Anastasia one today because it's the one that I grabbed and I'm going to literally apply this as if I were just doing concealer and then I am also, hold on, let me catch up. I'm also going to apply this on other spots of my face without adding any additional product. Like I haven't dipped back in there. I'm just sort of using the residue that's left on the wand to add in other parts of my face and I kind of just stripe myself and that's it. That's all I'm going to be using today. Just a full face of concealer because I want the coverage but I don't want like to add too many layers if that makes sense. I'm going to take this brush. This is a BH Cosmetics rounded face brush and this right now is my favorite brush to apply foundation or concealer like all over the face because it is so tightly densed and packed and it does a beautiful job at blending out your foundation and, and you're you're about to see it in action so I'm gonna go ahead and do this now and I kind of like to swirl a little bit and then kind of tap as well and you'll see that I'm starting to get really, really nice coverage, but it's going to feel extremely, extremely lightweight because I'm only applying this one, you know, foundation or coverage product to the entire face. I'm going to start blending in the concealer and I really like this brush for the concealer as well. It doesn't soak up too much product and look at how beautiful that just blunted out um, the concealer underneath my eye here. And I actually have one other brush to share with you guys, even though this is not supposed to be like a brush video, but I do have one other brush that I, I have to rave about. But as you could see, that blended out beautifully. Like my concealer is nice and blended. My skin looks very, very even. And I love this amount of coverage considering, like I said, I used a full coverage concealer. I think the coverage looks fantastic on the skin. It's very hydrating. I don't feel flat. Like you could still see that nice glow underneath from the priming spray that I used and my uh, primer, but this is just the most beautiful combination. Whatever's left on the brush, I'm kind of just going to sweep it across my eyelid. I am going to go in with an eyeshadow primer in a little bit, but I do like to even out and make sure that all of this in these little corners here are fully blended. Now because I do have really dark under eyes, I do like to apply just a tad bit more of my concealer underneath the eyes for just like a little bit more coverage. And honestly, that's all I do. Just a couple little like taps. I double check to see if there's any like blemishes that I like to cover. Right now my skin is looking pretty, pretty decent. I am going to apply just a little bit more on my chin. My chin is my breakout spot. It's where literally all the pimples come to hang out on the surface of my skin. So I am going to add just a tiny bit more to the chin. And again, making sure everything's nice and blended. And I am going to be taking that same brush and just, you know, making sure that this area is nice and full coverage. Just like that, I'm already looking like a million dollars. Mm-hmm. That's right, girl. 
always make sure that you think like you look like a million dollars. Okay, now I'm gonna powder my face and I recently picked up the Rare Beauty uh, setting powder. I don't know, this has a different name, but honestly, like, I love Rare Beauty. You all know that I love Rare Beauty, but the names of their products are always so extra and so long that I just know that this is their setting powder. I have mine in the shade Light, which is a really, really nice, almost like pinky light shade. I'll give you my two cents real quick because this is not the first time I've used it. I've been using it or have been using it since it launched because I purchased it the day that it launched. Um, well, I got it like three days later. Okay, so I've been using it for a bit. And I have kind of like mixed feelings about it. It's not my favorite powder. I definitely wholeheartedly love the e.l.f. Halo setting powder more than this. They're both very, very similar in my opinion. And I feel like I would much rather use my e.l.f. one than the Rare Beauty one. I will say they get... 10 out of 10 on packaging. I love this sifter. It has a really, really nice cover. It also only disperses the littlest bit of product, which if you know me, I don't use too much powder to begin with because I have um, drier skin. The only other con I have about this is that although I love the way that it makes my skin look because it's a more radiant, like soft, uh, looking powder. It isn't matte at all. So if you're oily, I would definitely stay away from this powder. And that is that it makes me look oily at the end of the day, which I'm not used to. And the first time I put this powder on all over my face, I used all of my Rare Beauty products. Let me know if you want me to do a full like face or full everything of Rare Beauty. I have a lot of Rare Beauty products. It is my favorite high-end brand. Um, and I'm so down to do that video. If you'd like, I would totally, you know, put it out. It makes me look oily at the end of the day and I'm not a big fan of that and with the elf halo setting powder I get the same effect that I'm about to get with this powder but I don't look oily or shiny at the end of the day and like I said it threw me through me a little bit because I'm not oily I'm actually a dry skinned person and um, I stay away from dry dry powders or mat mattifying powders for that reason and so I was really really excited to try this but again it's just it's not my favorite I will continue to use it and finish it because I don't like wasting product but I know that I won't re repurchase it again so it's the first time I've ever used a rare beauty product that um, I wasn't like a huge huge fan of so just putting that out there. But I am going to take this little brush and I'm going to apply this underneath the eyes. It does set the makeup really, really nicely and it does make you look very airbrushed. And again, you won't look like super matte or flat. If you are oily skinned, again, stay away from this product. You will not like it, I promise. But at the end of the day, I do look a little bit oily, I'm not going to lie. I'll see if I can insert a picture of myself here at the end of today, just so that you can get a feel for what I'm talking about. It almost kind of looks a little bit on the greasy side, I'm not going to lie. And I feel like I just applied like a bunch of oil on top of my makeup, so... Not a big fan of that. Packaging, 10 out of 10. Like, this needs to be adopted by so many companies. Like, this sifter is beautiful. It's, like, small, and I love that you can just turn it, and you won't get any, like, um, waste as far as your product goes. It clicks into place. It stays really, really nice. So, I, I love this packaging. And you know what? I may end up just keeping that package and uh, transferring my future powders into that because that's how much I love it. Like, really, really love it. I poured a little bit more into this cap and I'm going to take a fluffier brush to set the rest of my face. Alright, so the skin is nice and set. I am really, really liking the way everything looks. And so far, I've only done, well, primer, concealer, and a setting powder. So it's very, very simple and highly effective, if you ask me. Um, I'm going to skip bronzer. I don't think I need to put on a bronzer today, considering the shade of blush that I've chosen. And it's funny because this particular blush, I have been eyeballing you guys for years at this point. It's not a new blush. It's definitely something older and it's affordable, which I love the most, but it was a freebie when I purchased, uh, the, you know, products from elf.com. You guys know how I feel about elf. I swear to God, I place an elf order like every month, but this particular product I've been eyeballing for so long and this blush color is just 
It's probably the most universal, and you're gonna be shocked when you see the shade. It's the most universal blush, in my opinion. Like, this is one that definitely can fit anyone from fairest of the fair to deepest of the deep because it's such a beautiful color. That is the e.l.f. Primer Infused Blush in Always Spicy. Oh my god, this blush is perfection. It's a matte blush, which if you don't know me, I actually prefer more of a dewy or sheen-like blush, but this blush <laughs> is so beautiful. Like, the color, if they actually came out with this uh, same blush in, like, a sheen version, it would be the most perfect blush to ever exist, period. So silky, so smooth, and if you've never used the Primer Infused Blushes by e.l.f., they're so, so, so long wearing and so pigmented, you literally need the tiniest bit. So this is going to be my blush and bronzer because this is gonna make me look beautifully sunburnt and sun-kissed that this is all I need for today. I recommend using a really fluffy, flimsy brush for this product because like I said, she's very, very pigmented. She will pick up a lot of product. And uh, yeah, less is more with this product. So I'm gonna go in with my brush, literally, boop, boop. That's it, that's all you need. Make sure you tap off the excess on this one because she's gonna be strong. And I'm going to start right around here because again, I'm gonna be using this as like my bronzer and blush. And oh, it's so pretty. And I'm just going to buff this into the skin. Oh man, this color is so nice. And I'm going to be using this as if it were, I just tapped into it one more time. And like I said, I'm gonna be using this as if it were my bronzer and my blush. And so I am going to be placing this on the highest points of my face, like right around the hairline where I would apply my bronzer. And do you see that? It literally looks like I'm sunburned and that is the look that I'm going for when I'm doing a very, very minimal look. And isn't that so pretty? Like, it just, it literally just looks like I have been tanning, like, literally at the beach all the time, like, just tanning, because it has a really nice, like, red, but, like, almost, like, reddish neutral undertone. It's almost like a clay, like a clay color, and I love this. Like, I'm so glad that this is finally in my collection, and I highly recommend it. Okay, before I move on to the eyes, I'm just gonna take a little bit more of my Rare Beauty um, setting spray, and I'm just going to spray this down with my mouth closed this time. I learned my lesson. Don't judge me because I spray too much. Oh my gosh, I can't believe I almost forgot to put on highlight. Well, that's, that's crazy. I would never not wear a highlight. Uh, for highlighter, I'm actually gonna go into one of my newest editions. I caved in and bought this because so many people were raving about the formula. But uh, the highlighter in here, this delicious, beautiful shade is so stunning. And so I'm going to apply a little bit of that highlight onto my face before I move on to the eyes. This is that other BH Cosmetics um, brush I was talking about. This is the rounded highlighting brush. It's a really, really nice, uh, very flimsy brush that applies highlight beautifully. That is so pigmented every time, I don't know. I barely tap my brush in there, but it picks up a lot of product. I'm just gonna take the highlighter and apply it to the high points of my face, and holy moly, it's, it, it always, it never ceases to amaze me how beautiful this highlight is. So I'm really impressed with the quality of the face products in here. I didn't use the uh, blush in this palette today because honestly, that one from e.l.f. is everything for me right now. Take a little bit on the bridge of my nose, just the tiniest bit, and a little bit on the tip. That's what she said. It's the most fantastic highlighter. Like, do you see that? It literally just looks like my skin is just a little extra dewy than it was like five minutes ago. Okay, now I'm going to prime my eyelids and I'm going to use the Rare Beauty um, eye primer. I love this primer. Really, really nice quality primer. I love how pigmented it is. It cancels the little veins. And on top of that, it's not a super fast drying primer, so you can definitely do what I'm doing right now, which is painting both eyes. And I know that that looks a lot, but this stuff blends like a dream. Like a dream. 
just dream. Look at how nice that blended out. Like, I'm, I'm obsessed. I wish that they would have more shades because this is definitely not universal. Somebody with like a deeper complexion could use a deeper color in this so that it could match their skin tone a little bit more. Um, but this is a really, really nice formula and I really, really enjoy this eyeshadow primer. Okay, so now I'm prepped and ready for eyeshadow. And again, I'm going to be using the Natasha Denona Glam Face Palette. I have mine in the shade Light. Um, I really, really enjoy all of these shades. I actually just follow the guideline, to be honest. Like, I don't know what it is, but I really enjoy just using the transition shade as a transition, the crease shade in the crease, the smoke shade to sort of smoke, you know, the outer corners out and the lower lash line. And then I love the outer corner and inner corner, um, you know, sparkling, shimmering shades. Like, I honestly follow the guideline and I'm always satisfied with the way that the look turns out. Like, I haven't even really ventured out and used different color combinations. Obviously, there are no rules into how you should apply this or if you have to follow it, but I thoroughly enjoy the process and it's less thinking for me. I don't know, I, I like the simplicity of it and that's why I, in the end, decided to purchase this palette. So I'm gonna start with the transition. Beautiful, beautiful camel uh, color. Has a little bit more of a pink undertone to it, but I quite enjoy it. I think it looks beautiful. I'm gonna take this fluffy brush. This is a Laura Lee Los Angeles L26 brush. And I'm just going to start that in the transition, just like it says, to apply this into the transition. I love the way that this blends out and the way that this looks. Here's a smaller brush. This is an Elf um, blending brush. It's like part. It was part of their like mint uh, melt collection. I think that's what it's called. Again, I'm just gonna follow their guideline. I'm gonna go into the crease shade with this brush. Apply some to the tip of that. And I'm going to start that right here and then just go right into that crease and apply that into and apply that in windshield wiping motions. <clears throat> so there's the transition in the crease shade. Really, really pretty. Loving that. Using that same brush, I'm going to go into the shade Smoke. Really nice chocolate brown here, and I'm just going to pick it up on that same brush and apply just a little bit of that into the outer corner. Applies beautifully, and I'm sort of just laying this color down, and then I'm going to use another brush to blend it out. Using the same brush without any additional product, I'm going to start kind of blending the creases out in my under eye for a little bit more of a precise application. I'm going to take a smaller brush and go into smoke, just pick up the tiniest bit and apply that on the outer part of my lower lash line here. Now I'm going to take the outer corner shade right here, and I'm just going to be using my finger. I like to make sure I blow off any of the excess and then I'm going to lightly pat this. Oh my word. It's so stunning. I don't need to dip back into this. I'm just going to apply the rest of it on the other side. Now I do get a little bit of fallout with this and I've tried glitter glues and stuff like that. I probably, oh my gosh, I got a lot of fallout on this side. Probably should do my eye makeup first and then go in with this because they are pretty chunky shades and um, they do create a little bit of fallout, which I'm not mad about, but I, I definitely should have done my eye makeup first. But is that not so beautiful? Oh my gosh. So there is the pretty much almost finished look for the eyes. I just have to do the inner corner highlight. And I am just going to be using the inner corner shade. Uh, it's a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful inner corner. And I am going to be using that same brush, but this time I am going to spray the brush to lock down that pigment to see if I get a little bit less 
fall out. I definitely need to remember to do my eye makeup first with this palette because those shimmering shades are very, very crumbly, but man, are they beautiful. So I did spray my brush and I'm just going to place a little bit of that in the inner corner and look at how beautiful that looks. That's what this needs. They just need to be sprayed with a little bit of setting spray. For lower lash mascara, I'm just going to use my tried and true, the AOA Studio Skinny Mascara. And I'm just going to apply a little bit on the lower lash line. And then for the upper lashes, I'm going to first go into with the Essence Volume Booster Mascara. I love this stuff. This is really, really good uh, lash primer for the price. I never use lash primers up until this year. And let me tell you, the thing that I noticed the most is just less flaking and the longevity of my mascara. So it's totally worth the extra step in my opinion. So I just apply one coat like that and I do one eye at a time. And then I'm gonna use the e.l.f. Big Mood Mascara in the shade Deep Brown. I've been really, really enjoying this shade. I'm not a huge fan of this massive wand, but what I like is the outcome of my lashes with this mascara, and then I just like the color. So if you know a better deep brown mascara that has a smaller wand than this, because big wands like this are just not that great for my small, you know, eye shape, let me know what you like. And then last but not least, lips. I have the two newest lip products from e.l.f. I have one of their Love Triangle Lip Filler Liner in the shade Light Brown, and then I have one of these, I think they're like lip stains. It doesn't really have the name on it, and I cannot, I'm so terrible with names when it comes to makeup, I'm so sorry. But this one is in the shade Cinnamon Dreams, and this combo, I did try this yesterday. It was really nice comfortable and long wearing and I was drinking and eating and everything and I, I quite enjoyed this combo a lot. So I'm going to line my lips first. And the trick with these liners, because I'm not going to lie, they're not as creamy as they say they are like on the website, is just make sure that you apply like a lip balm to your lips before you start your makeup and then use this product because as you can see I have pretty dry lips but when I'm hydrated or when my lips are nice and moisturized this does apply a little bit easier. I love this triangle tip. I didn't think I was going to like it but it does a beautiful job at lining the lips like I was quite surprised. And I just fill in the lips the tiniest bit and then And then Cinnamon Dreams, this lip stain, really, really nice. It goes on super cooling. Doesn't really have much of a scent, which I appreciate. I'd rather have no scent, to be honest. And it feels like water when you put it on the lips. And it's so hydrating and so glossy. It is it is a really, really nice lip stain. I'm quite impressed with this formula, and I'm loving this color. Let me Let me stop babbling and let me show you. Mm, it's so cooling like it's really really nice these are fantastic in my opinion so here is the finished look let me know what you think let me know if you have any of these products um, or if you're interested in trying any of these products I'm so down to hear your opinions and your thoughts on everything overall I'm very very happy with everything that I put on my face today I love this look very very simple um, if I wasn't babbling or talking through the whole thing it'd probably take me about 10 minutes to do this whole makeup look but overall I really I really enjoy the process and I really enjoy putting all of this um, face stuff for you so uh, yeah if you like this video please don't forget to give it a thumbs up subscribe to my channel and spread my love for makeup and I will see you guys in my next video okay Okay, bye-bye.